Hi and welcome to another Mixed Media Tuesday and today I will be playing again with the Inny Mini Zigzag Journal by Art by Marlene. A couple of weeks ago I did make this uh, zigzag journal and I had so much fun playing with it. I think it is a great base for fun projects. But I'm going for a completely different look today. I will combine this mini journal base with products from my own collection, Create Happiness for Stamperia. So I'm going today for a more vintage look and feel instead of uh, the bright and colorful that I did the previous time. For my base today I will be playing with pattern paper. So I have this uh, collection here that has lovely background papers and I'm going to choose a couple of them to cut out the zigzag journal with the die. The good thing is that as long as the die is it does fit on 12 by 12 papers so you can use whatever you have on your stash. By the way, this collection is called My Way from Stamperia and I'm choosing two contrasting colors I am going to cut them out using the die and then I plan to stick those back to back so I end up with a different color front and back on my mini journal. Keep in mind that you can make them as long as you like if you just stick one in a row next to the other and there is a great video by Art by Marlene that shows so many different options and ways that you can put these together. So I'm just going to use my bone folder to reinforce that scoring line. And at this stage you can definitely use mixed media glue or any other glue that you have on hand to stick those two together. But I'm going to show you a really fun way that you can do to create pockets. That was suggested by Marlene and I found it so clever. So although I'm not going for pockets today, I'm just going to show you the technique and you can recreate it if you wish so. So notice that I am using double sided tape only on the folds. This way when I place the other panel on top of that back to back I will have pockets in between those tags that you can add other tags or other elements through the top. However since I'm not going for uh, pockets today I will go ahead and add double sided tape at the top but if you are doing pockets don't do what I'm doing now. At the bottom of those tags there is a scoring line. Notice where I did add the long strip of double sided tape here. This is just above the fold line. I need to do that because I'm planning to add some flaps and I'm going to show you in a bit how to do that. So now I'm just going to peel off the double sided tape and then I'm going to place on top my other cutout piece. Just make sure that you align them correctly and press them together. And now you can also fold up that scoring line since we didn't add glue there. This can uh, turn uh, your mini journal into having little pockets at the bottom if you like. However, I'm going to use this as a way to stick flaps at the bottom. So I am going to use this little die that is included in the kit and I'm going to cut out one little piece it has scoring lines already for you and this one was actually designed by Marlene to add the ribbon. I will show you how to do that later in the video. However, I'm going to show you another way that you can use it if you want to create flaps. So what I will do is to just stick this little flap underneath and between those two tags. I added some double sided tape on that little flap and now with my scissors just trimming a hair from each side which is going to allow this little tab to fold up and down easier when you fold the book. So I'm going to stick it in between as you can see and then I'm going to fold the other scoring line and stick those two pieces together and this way I have a hinge. On this hinge I can stick whatever I like. It can be a little tag, it can be a piece of uh, cardstock, it can be a little cutout that folds up. In my case I used one of the dies included in the kit that cuts out little uh, rectangles and I'm just going to sandwich this uh, little uh, hinge in between those cutout rectangles. This way I create extra space where I can stick elements and add even more fun into my little booklet. Make sure that you don't attach it all the way flush to the other side. Just leave a little gap like one eighth of an inch for easy opening and closing of your flap. 
and I'm going to stick my other rectangle on the back side. You can use glue again on this stage. I just had my double-sided tape handy here. And again, if you don't add a um, double-sided tape on one of the sides, you can again create a little pocket to add even more elements inside that flap. And of course you can add as many flaps as you like. I turned it around and I'm adding a second one on another side. And again I'm using contrasting colors so you can see easier the flap when it opens and closes. So here is my second hinge, nice and secured there. And again I'm going to use two rectangles to and sandwich that hinge in between. Always making sure that I don't stick that flash to the other side so it allows for easy opening and closing of the flap. And since I'm uh, putting together this flap, here is your reminder. If you do enjoy my videos, don't forget to like as well as leave me a comment. It really helps. Now I'm also going to add some glue in between the bottom just to make sure that everything is nicely secured down there. I don't need this anymore. I'm not going to add any more flaps. But you can use the same technique and add flaps at the edges or you can add uh, flaps in between the tags if you like, like extra pages. The sky is the limit here on how creative you can be with the dies that are included in the kit. Now I did use the same die that I created the hinges and I cut out one more piece as you can see here which I'm going to use at the end of this video to add my ribbon as a closure. I had no idea this was actually designed for this but I'm happy that I saw uh, the video at the Alba Marlene channel on how each and every die was designed. However, keep in mind that you can be super creative and come up with even more ideas on how to use them. So now that we have the base ready, let's go ahead and have fun by decorating all the pages front and back, as well as the flaps. For that I'm going to use products from my own collection for Stamperia. This is called Create Happiness. It is the second collection in a more uh, vintage look and feel. And I will be using the ephemera as well as the rabbons. Some of the ephemera are perfectly sized for these tags, like the cat, the butterflies, the flowers of course, as well as the key. Some of them are bigger, but you can definitely cut them out and create a continuous scene on two tags. So I'm going to show you what I did on all the pages. First of all, I'm starting by inking up the edges as I'm going for a vintage look and feel. I'm using coffee dye ink from my collection and I'm going all around the edges. This kind of separates the tags visually. And now let's move on and do some stamping for the background. I'm using black ink for that. And uh, I am using stamps from my collection. So here I'm using a text stamp. I'm also going to bring in a circle stamp. I like to combine text and circles for some reason. Now the tag that I'm working on will be the cover of my little journal. So I'm starting with the books just because this is going to be a journal I thought it would be fun to actually use journals on top of them. I am going to stick it down. I will use my scissors to cut off the excess. And you see even if you have elements that are bigger than the area that you are working on if you cut out a little bit of it it doesn't really matter. Actually it makes it look more interesting. I'm also going to bring in some of my ribbons and I will cut out the word journal which I'm going to add at the top of my tag. I'm not going to show you how I did all the tags one by one because after all there are five tags front and back plus two flaps front and back again. So that means that I will have to cover up lots of areas. It was a fun project that I did during the weekend and uh, I'm going to show you some of the pages, some of the tags and how I put them together and then I will just skip to the end and show you the finished project. You will find close-up photos as well if you want to recreate it but I think that it is a great idea that you can easily repeat with what you have at home. You can use my collection if you have it. You can use other collections that I'm sure you have on hand. Just go ahead and create a little mini booklet with what you have already and put together something fun. It can be themed as well, like for Christmas for example, and you can add little photos too. So here you can see I'm uh, inking up all the edges front and back. What I'm doing is repeat the same steps that I did 
on the first tag on the cover. I will repeat everything front and back. I will stamp from the back just like I did on the first one. So this way I have the same little details on every one of those tags and the project seems coherent. Just because I love stenciling, I'm also introducing one of my stencils here and I will use my ink blending tool to add some black ink in between. I'm not trying to cover up completely all the tag, I'm just using parts of this design just here and there. And you see I switched into a finger dabber which makes it easier to use only parts of the stencil and have more control on what you are actually transferring on your project. Here is where I'm doing the stamping. I am using the same stamp, the text stamp that I used on the front cover. I'm just going randomly all over the place. Now for the back I did use another stencil, but again with black ink just in a few areas here and there, and I did the stamping as well. The stencils I'm using are again from my own collection. You can see this one is well loved. And of course, just like always, you can find links to everything I'm using down below in the description area. So here I will work on the flap. For that, I just cut out a part of my ribbons and I'm going to use those flowers there. Always remember that when you use the ribbons, it's always a good practice to cut out the part that you want to work with instead of using the whole thing. Otherwise, it's going to stick all over the place. It's going to make a mess for you. Just cut out, trust me, just cut out the part that you want to use. I'm being very patient here, lifting from one corner as I move on and I always get a perfect impression. Always remember that for the ribbons to work perfectly, you need to make sure that your background is completely dry. If you have uh, recently inked up something at the background, make sure that it is dry, otherwise the ribbons are not going to stick. So here I'm combining a butterfly with the flower composition. And I'm going to also add a little word. I went with the word freedom and you can see here that you can easily layer the ribbons with no issues at all. And I'm going to call this flap done. At the end I will add some highlights with my white gel pen. I will do some doodling with my black pen as well as some splatters just like I always do. But for now I will just stick all the elements and create little compositions for each and every one of those areas. For this one I'm going with the key and uh, the butterfly, I'm going to combine those two. I don't want the antenna so I just cut them out. Remember that my ephemera are all stickers so you can either peel them off and stick them down or if you want you can always add glue. Don't try to peel them off with your finger, just use the soft part of your finger like I did here. And uh, you can see the same thing works for the butterfly always with your soft part of your finger. It makes it really easy and it's not so frustrating to peel them off. One thing that you can do, which I totally forgot to do here, is to ink up the edges before you stick them down. The truth is that uh, my designs here do have that look and feel of vintage that I'm going for, so inking up the edges is not really necessary, as everything much is lovely. However, it is a good tip to keep in mind depending on which collection you are using. So again here I'm playing with my ribbons. I just cut out one of those tickets and I'm going to use it in two different parts of my tag. Now this is why I normally don't peel off the sticker and stick it down but I rather go with uh, a dot of glue at the back so that I can layer things underneath if I choose so. In this case I did just stick the butterfly down but it was a little bit forgiving so I was able to lift a little bit of the wing and add that ribbon underneath. I always like to add quotes or uh, words in my little clusters. So for this one, I went with Live the Life You Have Imagined. In my collection of ribbons, you will find lots of words and sentiments that you can use. And I did pretty much the same thing for all uh, those tags. I just combined my ephemera with the ribbons to play and have some fun with my supplies. So here I'm working at the back of the flap. I am using again one of my ribbon tickets. I went with green so that I have a little bit of contrast. I always like to cut them in half and just uh, use them in different areas to make it look more interesting. So this way I add something extra on the background. And since both ribbons 
and the ephemera are from the same collection, I know that the colors are going to match beautifully together. So for this one I went with a couple of tulips and then I'm going to use the word INSPIRE again in green so it matches lovely with the rest of the colors. So now I'm going to move on and show you how you can use uh, the bigger ephemera elements to create a continuous scene on two of the tags. So in this case I'm going to use the gramophone and you can see it is quite big. I want it to be in two pages next to each other, however you need to cut it out. Otherwise those flaps are not going to fold nicely. So I will decide where the fold is going to be. I'm just going to use a ruler and I will mark where I need to cut out the gramophone. You need to be brave with this part. Just use your scissors, cut it out, no mercy, no regrets. You end up with three parts of the gramophone that you need to puzzle back up in your project. If you have any white edges showing, make sure that you get rid of them. Just use your ink blending tool all over the place and then stick everything down. And you see here, instead of peeling off the sticker to stick it down, I went with glue only at the center. This way I don't have glue at the edges and I can go ahead and tuck things underneath later on to create my composition. As I stick them down, I make sure that I leave a little gap in between. This is going to allow for a nice fold when you finish your project. This way you will be able to flip the pages with no issues at all. In between the gap you can go ahead and add some inking if you can see any white parts showing through. And we are good to go. Now I'm going to embellish it a little bit more. Of course I need to cut out that excess of the gramophone that shows through at the back. And I am embellishing it by using my ephemera, some of the flowers, the leaves, I did add a little butterfly. For my quote I went with create happiness and later on I will add another uh, rabon that uh, features a lovely butterfly in a postal stamp. And with the magic of video editing, here it is all ready to go, front and back and all the flaps ready as well. I will finish off with the details and then I will show you a close-up of all the pages. So first of all I'm going to do a little bit of stamping with text. I'm not going for the perfect impression here, I just want to add some texting on top of some of the elements. This is going to help everything come together. Don't overdo it, just a little bit here and there is just enough. Then I'm using a thin black marker, I'm going to outline some of the sentiments, I will do some doodling wherever I feel that I need more contrast. Again I'm not overdoing it and I don't outline each and every one of those elements, I'm just adding sketchy lines here and there. And then of course you know what the next step is, I'm using my white gel pen and I add some highlights. Notice that I can add those white uh, sketchy lines on both my ephemera as well as the rabbon elements. So the white gel pen writes beautifully on top of them, no issues at all, it glides beautifully over them. Last but not least of my finishing touches is to add some white splatters. For that I'm using my calligraphy ink. This is by Winsor & Newton by the way since I get so many questions about that. But any calligraphy ink would do the job. It is just so convenient to just dip the brush there. I don't have to dilute any gesso or white paint for that since it's actually a step that I like to do all the time. But in any case just use what you have. White splatters can be done in so many different ways. And finally let's add the closure. For that I'm going with the ribbon. This is seam binding that I dyed with uh, spray ink. Just use any space that you have in any color that matches your project. All you do is just wrap the ribbon with that and stick it on your project. So when I was putting together my little project I knew which one of the pages would be the last one. So I made sure that I didn't add anything important there. As you can see the butterfly is way at the top as well as the little word. This way when I stick down the closure it's not going to cover up anything important. Of course I'm using here double sided tape, you can definitely go with glue if you like. 
And then of course you can tie a bow, you can wrap around the ribbon if you have very long tails, it's really up to you. Now this is where I finished the project but I didn't want it to be finished really because I was having so much, fun, so much fun during the weekend. So that's where I remember that I haven't done anything for the holes at the top of the tags. So in the set there are so many different uh, reinforcers for that hole. I picked one of them, I just cut it out, out of uh, black cardstock and I'm just going to stick it on top. And here it is, all ready to go. Let's take a close-up look on all the pages. We did together the front cover so you know exactly what I used and how I used it. So let's open up the mini journal and see the rest of the pages. Here is the front of the first flap. Again, we did this together so you know that I just combined ribbons here, flowers, a butterfly and a word. Then here is the back of the flap, we did that together as well with the lovely tulips, ephemeras and rabbons in combination here. Here is the top with the butterfly and the key. You can see at the back how I combined the rabbons again to make it look more interesting. Then here is one that I did with the typewriter. I just created a little slit at the top to create my flower composition and I cut off just a little part of the typewriter on the right to make it fit. Now here are a couple of examples on how you can use only ribbons to create your pages. Both of them are only a combination of ribbons, just layering one on top of the other. The postal stamps are just lovely as well as the clock and the branches absolutely love those pages. And now let's take a look at the back. This is the back cover where you have the closure there attached. Now this is one where I did with my ginger, just a cut, a branch with leaves as well as a quote and you are good to go. Here is another one with a combination of ribbons. I absolutely love the round one that says today is a wonderful new opportunity. And this is the one with the luggage. To make sure that they fit on the page, I had to cut out a little bit from the right. I combined some flowers. These are all ephemeras, by the way. On the next page, I created the background by using some of the tags from my ribbons. And then at the top, I created a flower composition using the ephemeras. The quote is also a ribbon. And here you can see the two pages that we did together with the gramophone. You can easily open and close the book with no issues at all. Keep that in mind, always leave a little gap if your things that you stick there are quite thick. Also keep in mind you can add the ribbon through the holes at the top to make it look fuller. I didn't want to make it more busy than it already is. So this is it all together. I hope that you had fun today and that you got inspired. At the end of this video you will see close-up photos of each and every one of those little compositions. Don't forget to let me know if you are planning to do something similar and what the theme is going to be. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.